Hello everybody. <laughs> I always have to get warmed up. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen Smith. I'm going to teach you a recipe that is super easy to make and it's delicious. It is chocolate caramel cookies. So let's get right into it. The base of this cookie is either saltine crackers or you could use graham crackers. I have a sheet of graham crackers already lined up. I'm gonna make the saltine crackers on video and I will show you the graham crackers at the end. You'll need approximately one and a half sleeves of saltine. Oh, where's my pack of graham crackers? Where did they go? If you decide to do the recipe with graham crackers, you're gonna need two packages like this. You'll need approximately one and a half sleeves of saltine crackers, one cup of light brown sugar, a cup of butter, which is two sticks, and a package of chocolate chips. Whatever you like, you can use dark chocolate, semi-sweet, or milk chocolate. I personally prefer milk chocolate. Then you'll need half a cup or three quarters of a cup of white chocolate chips, and that's just gonna be drizzled on the top at the end. So if you want a bigger drizzle, then use three quarters of a cup. If you want a smaller drizzle then use half of a cup. Next you'll have to line your baking pan with parchment paper. You have to use a pan that has edges otherwise when you're baking your caramel will melt and it will spill. If you do not have parchment paper you can use foil but I personally think that the parchment paper works a lot better. If you are going to use foil I would just recommend that you grease it before you use it. So you're just going to line up your crackers on here fill the whole pan Uh -oh. I would do salted side down or sugared side down if you have graham crackers with sugar. It's kind of like making a puzzle. If you can't fit them, you can break them so that they fit, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure your oven is preheated to 375. Next, what you're gonna do is melt the butter on the stove top in a saucepan. Now that the butter's melted, I'm gonna add the brown sugar. Oh. So you just let the brown sugar melt inside the butter and once it's melted, you're gonna bring it to a boil. Now that it's boiling, the caramel's developing. You just have to keep stirring it and let it boil for about four minutes. The caramel is finished. It looks good. It's a nice golden brown color. You're gonna drizzle that across the crackers. Ooh, this looks really good. <laughs> and then you can use a spatula to get whatever's left in the pan. So you just have to spread it across the crackers and you wanna do it pretty quickly while it's still hot so you can kinda get it across all of the crackers. It's already that quick. It's starting to dry up. All right, guys. So it's ready to go in the oven. You're going to put this in there for five minutes and that's it. The next step is to melt the white chocolate. You may or may not have a double boiler at home. If you do, this is what would work best. You would fill the bottom pan slightly with water and then on the top, you pour the chocolate chips and you let it boil and it melts perfectly. If you do not have a double boiler, which a lot of people may not, you can use a small bowl. If you have something with edges, it works best because you can kind of sit it in there and it's easy to take right out. But if you must put this in the microwave, I warn you to be very cautious. Check them and don't overdo it because these can burn real easily in the microwave. Any chocolate chips can burn. I just added the water. I'm gonna put the double boiler on top. Now I'm gonna dump the chips in and boil it. I know you're gonna eat some of these before they get on your cookies. Everybody does. Wait a minute. That already went off, I guess. Oh no. No. Or is it a time timer? Did I put it for four hours? Oh my god, I knew well, something was wrong. It's not burnt, Where's no. the um oh no, where are those mittens? Here they are. Oh sh <laughs> oh, this is not burnt. <laughs> At least it's not burnt. Oh no. They look ruined. Sh I don't think it's too dark. I have to oh I really ruined it. I ruined it. They're dry now. Ow. Should I do it again? You do it again? All right, what? Well, yeah, it won't take long. All right, so the crackers are out of the oven. The caramel is melted. Sprinkle the chocolate chips on top evenly. Let the chocolate chips 
sit for approximately one minute just to let them melt a little bit and then you're gonna spread them. Look how nice and easy this spreads now that it was sitting for a minute. If you don't have a spatula, you could use a spoon. If you have an offset spatula, that would actually work great. You don't have to do the white chocolate. You can eat these as they are if you don't want to add anything. There's so many topping options and a lot of fun choices you can do to make this delicious, but I'm going to do the white chocolate. If you're not doing white chocolate and you want to eat them with just chocolate, you might want to decoratively wave the chocolate on here. But if not, this layer doesn't matter as much. I have my white chocolate, it's melted. This is the fun part. You get to drizzle the chocolate across and make a nice little design. Make sure your chocolate's kind of thin. See, sometimes you get chunks like that. We can fix that, I'll show you after. Do you think this needs to be melted more? <laughs> I should make this series Disasters with Jen Smith. <laughs> drizzle it on top. When you make this, you can top it with chopped nuts like pecans. You could use crushed pretzels. This already has a delicious sweet and salty taste, but you can add anything. You could even do some sea salt on top. If you get any white chocolate chunks and you think it looks too thick, you can mix it in like this. You could kind of make your own swirl. And this actually makes it look pretty anyway. I thought I messed up, but there's always ways to fix it. <laughs> If your pan has cooled enough, you can put it into the freezer. I would pop it in for about like 10 minutes, and once it's hard, you're gonna break it up. Okay, so the cookies have chilled enough that you can cut them. The chocolate and the caramel are set, and these are the graham crackers that I told you I was doing separately. I just did these, I cut them up already, just so you can get a good look at them. They look really good. There's a couple ways you can do this. You could either cut these, or you can break them apart with your hands, and you can make them in all different sizes, which is also nice because some people don't like big cookies, some people love big cookies. I'm gonna just cut them up today. Also, you don't have to cut them to the exact size of what the cracker was. The crackers will peel off so nicely with the parchment paper. That's why I love using the parchment paper. All right, the ultimate taste test. See how the bottom gets the caramel on it? It's so good. Mm. That good, sweet and salty Taste. These are delicious and you can make them all year round and it's a fun, easy recipe to do with anybody of any age. Little kids love this, older people love this, I love this, it's just great. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you happen to make the recipe, tag me on social media because I would love to see your photos of it. Also, please subscribe for more videos. I will see you next time, bye. Oh my God, they almost fell. I'm going to teach you a new recipe to... <laughs> Why am I saying that? Wait, to grease it. I have to say that again. <laughs> You're gonna add the brown sugar. <laughs> Wait, I feel like that wasn't good enough. I wasn't even looking at the camera. <laughs> Why am I messing up? Whisk it occasionally. <laughs> the next step is to double, double boiling the pans. Hot. Please. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs> that was almost good, but it sounded a little weird.